Hello Libra, welcome to your October 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your psychic medium, intuitive guidance counselor, here to give you the messages that I receive for the month of October for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra, but we're also going to, if it's romance, then your Venus would apply, but not for career, etc. So we are looking at love, career, finance, family, health, any message I get, I will relate to you. And I will pull oracle messages throughout the reading and give advice. And I do want to wish all of you a really happy birthday for those of you who have a birthday in October. So it really, it's absolutely appropriate, Emma. <laughs> We've got justice. You're starting off with justice. So happy birthday to you. I see that as a happy birthday. Some of you, you know, when we're looking at the justice card, this is about you bringing your life into balance. Not just your life, but every aspect of it. I see some of you really have been working very hard. Now, you may have been working hard on your education, but for a group of you, I see where you got a... Um, you got a second degree. I'm seeing some of you actually got a second degree. It may be in the law, okay? You may have actually changed your course of direction, needed to do a little bit more education, and I see that you, you've done that. You've really grown, okay? Now, for a new group of you, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? I see that you are going to be going to college. You're going to university, and your parent is going to help you. So the Page of Swords is the it's a youthful energy. This is the child. Now, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual, but most definitely has a beautiful way of communicating masculine energy. And I'm seeing that they are getting the finances. Their family is helping them to get the education that they need. And for some of them, this is in the world of law, okay? Now... Uh, when it comes to your career, Libra, I'm seeing that some of you have started a new business. I don't know that it's actually been branched out yet. You have some legal paperwork to take care of, but you've really done your research, and I see that you've actually um, you've hired an attorney to do the legal aspect of what needs to be done and that's really good now here's the good thing whatever you're doing whatever you're working on is going to lead you to feeling very secure in your personal life in your finances some of you i see that and it's all about you letting go it's all about you believing in you in a different way than you ever have as we become in balance Okay, when we become in balance, when we're out of balance, it's like, well, should I, shouldn't I? Maybe I am good enough, maybe I'm not. Okay, we start sabotaging our own energy. But with justice, this is all about, like I said in the very beginning, the first card out. You guys have been working on putting yourself into balance. So when we are in balance, it's like, okay, I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. You've got your plan. I see you have your game plan. And now you're putting things into motion in the month of October. Yeah. Now, for some of you, I do see where you may be dealing with a situation um, in your uh, career where it looks like there's a promotion coming up and you may have what they need. And what I'm hearing is it's very important for you to be very careful about the way you speak in the interview for those of you whatever this is and it feels government oriented so it's like a promotion in a government type of a of a entity government county city it could even be in the legal area the justice department watch the way you communicate okay there's some healing that still needs to be done in you there's something that somebody's going to say that may actually kind of 
uh, make you feel out of balance. What, is, what I'm being shown is it's gonna trigger something in you. It may be something that your mom or your father said, a parent, somebody you held in uh, high regard. Let's see what that is, okay? I wanna see what that is. See. Well, it definitely is a family type dynamic. I, I, I really see that whatever they told you made you feel that you weren't, um, maybe you didn't work enough. You didn't work at this enough. They told you that you didn't put in enough energy and effort into this particular career avenue. It's kind of like, uh, well, you don't know what you're doing. You're not going to get it. You know, that kind of a, a negative little bit. Yeah, they held back. They didn't open up. I think that they see you as somebody very successful. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we're really looking at an energy that's very grounded. Now, this individual is very careful about who they give to. They do give. They give but they're in balance. So they understand that they're gonna to give to the right person. Some of us, we don't give to the right people. We give to the ones that take and don't give back. This person knows how to give to the right person. I do see where some of you might be asking for a loan, okay, on this particular uh, venture. Some of you, this is a loan where I think you're gonna be moving relocating it's a family gratitude make sure that you have gratitude if you're living in a home that's falling apart <clears throat> excuse me be grateful that you have a home okay because there's a lot of people that aren't whatever this opportunity is be very grateful and when this person i do see they're going to give you a loan but they are going to want to uh they're gonna to wanna to draw up legal documents and it does feel very family oriented, okay? So <clears throat> be very grateful, show gratitude to them, but equally show gratitude to the divine, okay? To the universe. Happiness is a great way to show gratitude. Being happy with what we have, enjoying the moment, being in the moment, let go, let God, and allow this to just kinda flow through naturally because I see you're gonna have a really good uh, outcome. Now for another group of you, I do see where there may be some health issues with a, a parent, okay? Now this parent may have a lot of money. It's almost like I'm seeing that they need to be put into a uh, senior assisted living where they're gonna help them take their medicine, maybe the, even uh, their clothes, something to do with their clothes. Whoever this older person is to you, I feel it's apparent to you, they dress really nice. They're always sharp in the way that they look and they've always been like that, they still are, but they're getting ready to go into this facility. Now, I'm being shown that um, the health is a big issue, so that's why they're going in there. I'm equally hearing that it's going to be okay. You all have the, between the whole family dynamic and this person, everybody's got all the finances, but it's really working together as a family unit in order to make the right decisions for this parent. There might be some, um, out of balance kind of energy between you and a sibling. Now we have the king of pentacles. So it could be a parent because we have the, the okay. So it may be the parents. It may be your parents or grandparents that are gonna go in there. But I'm really being told that it's gonna be okay. It's just that you and your siblings, and I feel there's a large age difference between you and your sibling you and whoever else is making this decision. For some of you, <clears throat> yeah, they were holding back. They might even be holding back financially. You have a lot of pentacles here. 
in the month of October, you're gonna be very career oriented in the month of October. Not to say that I don't see some of you actually uh, starting new relationships, I really do. But I see that you're very focused on getting things ready to complete the year end. That's what the I just heard. Getting things ready to complete the year end. So when it comes to um, your relationship, you know, some of you may need to have a heart to heart conversation with your partner. There is work that needs to be put into this relationship and you could be dealing with somebody who's holding back. They aren't really uh, working together in this relationship. And I do see that children are in the picture. I'm being told to tell you, pay attention to the red flags when it comes to this group of you. Whatever's going on, they're holding back and I almost feel like they have a secret. I just, I mean, they're really shut down. They're not open. Why? Two of Cups. This is a real beautiful partnership and we do have a matching pair. So this is a soulmate type of a relationship, soul connection. Yeah, yeah, there may have been some battling, some arguing, some struggles between the two of you in the past, and that is part of a soul connection. It is actually part of any relationship where we can get off the same page and we start venturing this way and this way, where we have our own personal growth and maybe our partner does not. So it can cause some quarreling as one has a growth spurt and one doesn't. And that's what I'm actually seeing between the two of you. And here's the advice, okay. So Spirit is saying, yes, your partner is holding back on you or you're holding back on your partner but it is time to open up and it's time to actually put the work in because we have the ace of cups this is an opportunity to heal and resolve but bring reignite the love in your relationship with your partner so whatever they need to open up about i do see that they're going to do it in the month of october and it's going to be like um Well, it's going to be like that. You're going to jump for joy. This is going to be good because I see you guys really bonding and talking about things that you both wanted to do that you may not have shared or may have recently found out, hey, I really want to go on a, a cruise, you know, and I never wanted to before, but so-and-so talked about it and now I'm excited, that kind of energy. So it's going to be very lovely. Now, when we're looking at singles, <clears throat> I do see where some of you, have, uh, you've been, you're so work driven. You may have, like I said, you may be the one who started your own business, okay? But you have an opportunity coming into you um, where this opportunity, and we have the Queen of Pentacles again. Some of you are definitely dealing with earth signs. You know, you're very focused on your finances the seven of pentacles really reflecting on is this a good point in this opportunity with this new opportunity career project whatever it is you know it's bringing you a lot of money or it's getting ready to but as you analyze this you really are sitting in a very good place right now to start a brand new relationship and for some of you, this is a true life partner gonna come into your life. This is somebody that you can actually feel very, um, very much yourself. You can feel very grounded with this individual. For some of you, it's all about healing. It's the final release of whatever you experienced in the past. It's like letting it all go. So with the, uh, the justice, in the month of October. This is really what you're doing in the month of October. You're jumping for joy, you're celebrating your own self, and you should, because you've grown tremendously. 
Now, I do see where some of you might find out that you are gonna be a grandparent and expanding the family dynamic, but it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be absolute, I mean, all births are. There's something special about this. It may be generation, a photograph, uh, it may be that significant moment where we have four or five generations of four generations of family members in that photograph, right? But I see this big, beautiful family gathering. And some of you could have to travel to it, but it's going to be very lovely, a beautiful coming together. This child is kind of uniquely special for some reason. They aren't showing me why. But for those of you where you're in this group, you're gonna know why. And all children are special, but there's something unique in the family dynamic, okay? Maybe it's the first boy in decades, I don't know. But you'll know what it is when that resonates with you. So let me pull another uh, card for you because I really wanna um, look at Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So this is all about you in the month of October. It doesn't matter if you're single, if you're married, if this is about your career, this is about your love life. This is about every Libra. It's time to really step up and own your personal power. That never means that we're rude when we do it. It means we know exactly what to do, when to do it, when to speak, when not to speak. And we are always in balance, which should not be a problem for you, Libra. Beautiful month of October. So I hope this helps. If you guys would like to work with me on any level, everything I have is on the website, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. Much love.